Welcome. Today I'm going to be going over what's in the box for the Dominion expansion called Cornucopia. Now, one of the reasons why I saved this as one of the last expansions I did is because this is my third favorite expansion. With Adventures being my second favorite and with Dominion Menagerie as my first favorite expansion. So, why do I like this expansion so much? Well, there's lots of reasons why I like this expansion. Lots. So let's just go out and get started showing the cards, and then I will give you the reasons why I like this expansion so much, even though it is a very small expansion. Same size as guilds, and same size as um, alchemy, obviously. So let's get started. All right, so first we have Hamlet. It's the only two-costing card in this expansion. You get a card, you get an action, and that's pretty basic. But this is kind of interesting. You may, then may discard a card if you do, plus one action. Or, and or, you may discard a card if you do, plus one buy. So you could decide to discard a card and then get either the action or get the plus buy. And you could also technically do both. You may discard a card, you may discard a card. It doesn't say and or, so, you know, these are separate functions of the action. So that's kind of cool. It's kind of interesting, so you could make this card, as long as you discarded a bunch of cards, you can make this card pretty powerful by giving you a card, two actions, and a buy. That's pretty useful, but only if you're willing to discard some cards in the process. But if you have some victory cards, this comes in handy, especially. So that's a pretty interesting card, Hamlet. Then we have Menagerie, and that's what, so what a Menagerie? What's a Menagerie? It's basically an old world zoo. If you look at it closely, the card, it has a picture of giraffes, and there's a zebra on there, and it looks like there's some sort of antelope, maybe Gemsbok, or something like that, or Kudu. And then on the other side, we've got an elephant, or a couple actually, a couple elephants, and we also have a lion over there on the right as well. And so that's what a menagerie is. It's a zoo, which is why that was an awesome name for an expansion. But it's also a card to boot. And it's in this expansion, Cornucopia. So that's another reason why this is such an awesome expansion. All right, so let's go over it. Menagerie gives you a plus action. Reveal your hand. If there are no duplicate cards in it, plus three cards. Otherwise, plus one card. So this card rewards you for having a variety of cards. If every card in your hand is different, then you'll get to draw three cards. That is awesome. And uh, if you have a duplicate of something, like two coppers, for instance, you still at least get to draw a card. So it's not a complete total loss. But it's definitely something you'll want to pull off when you have a variety of cards. Then we have Desert. Now, I replaced two cards in this expansion. The first one was Fortune Teller, and the next one was Yun Witch. Obviously, I don't like those cards, so I got rid of them. Now, the reason why I decided to replace Fortune Teller with the Desert is it's kind of thematic in my eyes, anyway. So let's go over what the card does. And this is an attack card. It's a pretty, uh, can be pretty, uh, pretty nasty attack card, too. So you get plus two treasure, and then each other player reveals cards from the top of his deck until he reveals a victory or a wasteland card. He puts it on top and discards the other revealed cards. So, um, I don't think, um, I don't think the original had curse on there. And if it did, it doesn't matter. I went ahead and added wasteland to the card anyways, because I had some space anyways. So if I altered the card a little bit, oh well. Not a super big deal. So basically, if you have a lot of victory cards in your deck, this won't do too much damage. But if you got rid of your estates, and you only have a couple of other victory cards in your deck, this could be quite dangerous towards you if somebody attacks you with this card. And it's kind of thematic. Picture uh, being stuck in the middle of a desert, right? And it's, it's a hectic journey as you try to find your way out of the desert to find some sort of sanctuary of some sort. At least something better than a desert, right? And so, ooh, you come across a province. Ah, okay, you are now out of the desert, basically. 
That's sort of, sort, of, sort of thematic in that sense as a good replacement for the card. And that's why I came up with the idea Desert as a replacement for Fortune Teller. And so even a Wasteland would still technically be a, probably a little bit better than a Desert may, may be as well. So that's kind of an interesting card. And like I said, as long as you, you know, don't get rid of all your victory cards and you keep them around, this won't be too devastating as an attack card. But if you get rid of a lot of them, unless you get rid of all of them, if you get rid of a lot of them, this is going to discard a lot of cards until a victory card shows up, probably. So it can be a very powerful card at times. All right, let's continue on. All right. So then we've got a total of five cards in this expansion that cost four. So we have three of them right here. First, we have the Crocodile. Now, this replaced Young Witch, but let's go over it. You get two cards, then you discard two cards. Then if a player reveals a Hippo, he won't gain a Wasteland. And then the setup is choose an extra Kingdom card to the supply costing up to three. Those will be the Hippo cards. Now, I replaced Hippo with, I mean, Bane with Hippo. So for those of you who are more familiar with the Young Witch... And the witch's young witch's bane, well, the bane was a way of preventing being hit by this attack. And so I decided to come up with the crocodile as the one attacking you. And what is a crocodile most afraid of? At least in Africa. What is a crocodile most afraid of? Hippos. And so I found a nice little uh, eraser here with a hippo on it. And so, whenever we're playing with this expansion, and we have Crocodile in the game, this little hippo is going to sit onto one of the, onto an extra pile. Because that's a pretty cool setup, is getting to add an extra Kingdom card to the supply. The original card did that too, I didn't change that. That's not new. But that's kind of interesting. So, and originally when I got the expansion, they did not have uh, anything for the Bane. You just had to kind of remember it on your own anyways. It wasn't until they updated it recently when they finally had something for Bane. So I came up with the idea to actually have something before they did. And then obviously changed it to animals instead of witches. So that's pretty cool. Crocodile's afraid of the hippo. So if, you want, if the crocodile wants to attack an opponent and the opponent has a hippo, well, he's safe from the attack, basically. So that's kind of interesting. That's a definitely an interesting attack card, and it's definitely an, uh, one of my favorites because of this nice little combination here of the Crocodile and the Hippo. Then we have Remake. Now this is probably the only card in the whole expansion that I do not like at all. But let's go over it because this is a small expansion. Do this twice. Trash a card from your hand, then gain a card costing exactly one more than the trashed card. And that's why I don't like it, because... You know, you trash into state, and, you're only, and you can turn it into a silver, basically, or something costing three. And then you can trash another estate, maybe, and do the same thing. But like I said, if uh, Desert is in the game, Remake is not going to do you any good. Getting rid of those estates could be very detrimental if um, Desert is in the game as well. So that's, you know, another reason why I don't like Remake that much at all. It's probably not my most hated card, but it's definitely a card I just do not like. Remake. Then we have Farming Village. This is a really awesome action. You get two actions, and then you reveal cards from the top of your deck until you reveal an action or treasure card. Put that card into your hand and discard the other cards. So this guarantees you'll get an action card or a treasure card. That is awesome. With a normal village, you uh, would just draw a card, and if it was a victory card, oh well, right? Well, this one guarantees you get a treasure in our action. Yes, it could be a copper, but a copper is still better than an estate, usually, right? Usually, it is. And then, an action card, if you're lucky enough to get one of those, oh, even better, right? Because you have two actions now, and now you have a new action card. So that's really cool. I like that one a lot. That is a cool village. Alright, then we will continue on in the next video with the rest of the cards.